Thank you, Mayor. As usual, every year I like to end uh, the holiday season um, on a high note. Uh, we have some photos in the back. I just want to highlight um, some things and thank some, some partners. Um, our office recently, this year, we received a, a call from a citizen um, in the district. Um, a neighbor called our office, was concerned about Mr. Carl Teagan. Um, stating that he was living in deplorable condition and a staff member completed a site visit in our office and found that the conditions was imaginable. And as you see on the attached um, photo, uh, the pic about what I'm getting ready to say. Mr. Teagan is a, U, um, is a U.S. veteran that lives in the city and his home was a shell. For over 15 years, without he lived without running water, electricity, and or gas. He had become a recluse in the district. Uh, he was embarrassed and overwhelmed by his living conditions and hid away from social contact. With the help of the Department of Neighborhoods, with the City of Houston Health Department, we were able to assist Mr. Teagan. The actual details for this endeavor are quite lengthy, so I will give you just a snapshot. The staff member of my office, which was led by Valerie Tarr, who I just really appreciate for going above and beyond in our office every year, along with my other uh, staff. Um, this particular structure that you see is the before structure. The structure was torn down and a new structure was moved to the property. She reached out to various entity, entities to obtain the necessary electrical, plumbing, heating, and structural work to bring a new structure to the City of Houston Code of Ordinance as well as interior furnishings. I would like to thank the following person. If you go to the next video, please, the next photo, so we can see the, how the house looked. Thank you. He was living in his home. Next photo. Next photo. This is where he slept. Next photo. This is his bathroom that he was trying to use. Next photo. And this is one of our U.S. veterans. This is how he sleeps now. Next photo. This is his bathroom now. Next photo. This is his dining room now. Next photo. This is how his house looks now. I want to thank the commercial people in our community, concerned neighbor who called and reported this constituent, Mr. Teagan, Nona Claradine, the Department of Neighborhood, Eddie Copeland and Greg Mackey, the City of Houston Health Department, Donna Travis, Billy Reese, Alma Benagas, and Rodriguez, Rodriguez Garrett, Adult Protective <coughs> Services, James Quinn, the City of Houston Code Enforcement, Bobby Oaks and his team, ARS, Robert Hunter, WXR, Yvette Cruz, Plumbers of Local Union Number 68, Jeff Lebrowski and Robert Cross, Millwork Construction, Billy White, Furniture Bank, Oli Muhammad, Star Furniture, Sherry Bender, Rebuilding Together Houston, Randy Henry and Jennifer Touchet, Home Depot, Tim Wilkinson, John Scalar, Celebration of Service Team. I just want to thank them. People talk about Christmas giving and sharing love. This is what true meaning of Christmas and giving of love is all about. It's given to someone that is less fortunate. Mr. Tegan never really came out and asked us for anything. It's because of a concerned neighbor who contacted our office. When they contacted many people and people said no. I want to thank my staff for taking on the challenge and saying yes. And for those individuals, partners in the community for saying yes. And every one of the services that were provided to this house was absolutely donated and free. So this U.S. veteran now, he gets up in his car, he rides, I mean, go catch the bus, goes swimming at West Gray every morning. He walks out proud, sits on his porch now and drink a cup of coffee. Just because of constituents of a person that stopped by and said, how can we assist you today? So I want to thank my staff. I want to thank the Blue Santa program for what they've done throughout this year for helping children with toys. I want to thank the Houston Texans on Friday for partnering with our office for the Texas Bike Giveaway. I want to thank ABC Dental for their giving bikes to the constituents of District D. I want to thank the Brothers of Cap Alpha Psi for feeding the homeless this week at HEB. I want to thank Peck Elementary for allowing us to come in and feed some kids that were less fortunate on this past weekend as well and providing toys through the Front and Praise Church and Project Management Group, Mr. Kelvin Calvin. Thank you all so much for helping the constituents of District D. I want to thank Yellowstone Academy. This week we have our food distribution. This to date, we've done 15 
days of care in District D for a total of 4, 478,000 pounds of food in the community. I want to thank my staff for working so hard and making sure that we provide public service throughout the district. Thank you, Councilmember. Thanks for showing us the, the <coughs> pictures. Um, and I'm glad you called out the Department of Neighborhoods. The new Department of Neighborhoods is about helping solve problems. And you identified problems and, and 